welcome back to Riding with B. Cray. Today is September the 5th, and I am riding to work after a very long four day. Hopefully, for you, for my military people, y'all enjoyed y'all. Um, i trying to fix my pants. All right, hopefully for, for my military people, you enjoyed your four day. I certainly enjoyed mine. I got a lot of things done. Um, I painted my man cave, uh, and I'll show you a picture of that somewhere in here. I painted my man cave this week. And then I went to all black party, and that vlog is out now. So don't stop this video, just finish this video, and then hop back over to the um, all black party vlog. That was with me and Miss Alicia, all right? Um, so. What is on my mind this morning? Good question, because I really have no idea. But I do want to get a couple things out. Uh, first, let's talk about last week, reports came out that 50 said at one of his concerts, I don't know what's going on with this, with this mic launch and stuff, but he launched his mic and he hit a female in the head with the microphone. So, people, stop throwing your microphones at people. Like, it, it's stupid. Like, if you don't want to perform, then don't perform. But at the same time, if you are in the audience, you gotta be respectful too. These people are out. These people are out here performing for you. You paid your money. You paid your ticket. Stop pissing these people off, and they probably won't throw microphones at you. Because if I'm on stage and you start getting kind of rowdy to me, hey, you might get more than a microphone thrown at you. Probably a chair. But that's neither here nor here, here nor here nor there. So anyway, that's that. Second, I want to talk about. I okay. So a lot of you is probably are not football fans but i do want to get this off my chest and i do want your opinion on this too so i everybody knows i'm a big 49ers fan you can tell by the dog on uh headrest and if you follow me enough on social media you'll know i am a humongous football fan so my question to you and let me know in the comments should the 49ers get rid of trey lance if those y'all have not been not been following the 49ers for a while uh, after Jimmy G got hurt a couple seasons ago, they drafted, uh, I mean, they got uh, Trey Lance, straight out of college. Uh, he started, uh, I think he started last season, I believe. He started last season, but he got he got injured, so he could not come back for the season. So they put Brock Brock Purdy in, Mr. Irrelevant. I think he was the last person to get picked up and picked up in the picked up in the draft. He came in, he made big things happen. Four nines went all the way to the championship, championship game. All right. So people got people got behind Brock Purdy. They were like, oh, Brock Purdy is the man, but Brock, Brock Purdy is this. But then Trey Lance just kind of sat on the sidelines. So now this season came around and they like, well, we're going with Brock Purdy because Brock Purdy is the man. And then they got they got uh, I think a dude named Don Don Arnold. And they got another uh quarterback as well. Which it came to four quarterbacks, they had to let one go. So they let Trey Lance go, but Trey Lance ended up getting uh, getting tra getting traded to the freaking Dallas Cowboys. Like, why the Dallas Cowboys? You should have just kept Trey Lance. But my question to y'all, like, do you think that was a good trade, or are we too are we too amped up over Brock Purdy? Because all you know, Brock Purdy has not played a whole season yet. He only played like half a season last year. Same thing when Jimmy G came in. Jimmy G came in. That dude couldn't play a whole season to save his life. So should we get, should they put all their, I think they put all their marbles inside of Brock Purdy. And I don't think he's going to be, like I said, I'm a 49ers fan for life. But I'm not putting all my marbles inside of Brock Purdy yet because he's still new. And like I said, he hasn't played a whole season yet. Like, like when you get a whole season up under your belt, then I'd be like, yeah, you the man. But I think they might be putting the cart before the horse with Brock Purdy. And I think they should have kept Trey Lance as a backup because first off, he's mobile. And that's what I think that's what the NFL is kind of going by when it comes to um, these quarterbacks too. Second thing about the 49ers, sorry. Second thing about the 49ers is Bosa, right? So, man, pay that man, Nick Bosa, pay that man his money. He wants to be the highest paid, I want to say defensive end, in the United and in the whole National Football League. I agree. I think he has the skill. I think he has the talent. And I think with him having, I want to say this is his 
second or third year under his belt, I think he deserves every bit of that money, and I think the 49ers will, uh, will make that happen. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about that situation, because they say he's supposed to play the first game this week, because everybody know football season come back on Sunday. So pick your teams now. Pick your teams. I want to know in the comments who is your NFL team, and you can't change in the middle of the season. This is not a football channel, but I just wanted to get this out of the way because I've been thinking about this for a while and I want to do it. So let me know down in the comments your favorite football team. Mine's the 49ers. will always be the 49ers. My secondary team is the Washington Redskins because I am from Virginia, and that is the closest team to Virginia. And I feel like everybody should root their, they should root their home team, whether it's their favorite team or not. You still root your, uh, you still root your home team regardless. So that's that. Anything else I want to talk about? I don't know what else I want to talk about, but positivity is, is a big thing. Make sure you stay positive. Make sure you stay motivated. Make sure you continue to push yourself. Make sure you continue to drive yourself. Make sure you set goals. Make sure your goals are good. Make sure you make many goals so you can hit your hit your your, your major goal at the end. Uh, with that being said, thanks for riding with me to work today. Um, today is Tuesday. Oh! One last thing, I am gonna do. Okay, so we're so in my unit, we're doing something called a no do dinner, right? So if if you if you follow my channel a lot, you know I've been in the military for a while. So it, bro, you just turn off the road. Anyway, so <laughs> no do dinner. We're doing no do dinner, right? So I'm gonna take you along on this no do dinner tomorrow. I, I, a lot of people in the news heard so much negative stuff about the military negative stuff about how leaders treat soldiers, how soldiers are in the military and the third. So all my series, Military Chronicles, I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the no-do dinner. I'm going to show you what the no-do dinner is. I'm going to talk to some people about the no-do dinner. So you can understand, like, even though the military is how it is, there is still good things in the military. And, and I promise you it is. I promise you it is. And this no-do dinner is a great thing, is that we as leaders, we either cook food or we go buy food, we take it to the barracks. I had a soldiers somewhat of a home cooked meal for the soldiers so the soldiers can eat and enjoy a home cooked meal and not just the defect food, even though defect food is okay. But it's a home cooked meal from their leaders, bringing in that 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 family and just you know, we can let our hair down, we can let our we can take the wigs off, take the makeup off, and just enjoy times without with our soldiers without having all this military rank involved. Okay, but I will have that for you. That's on the seventh. Like I said, I will record that, have that for you, talk to a couple people, and let and let y'all see what this no-do dinner is to give some military some positivity in his life. But anyway, with that being said, I love you all. I, uh, I love and appreciate every last one of you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.